being involved as a member of the National Farmers Union Organic Forum and then talking to DEFRA about the new environmental land management scheme or ELMS, NELMS consultation was a real eye-opener for me when it came to evaluating which organisations out there were helping me as an organic farmer to improve my business. Getting organic conversion payments and maintenance payments uh, right has been crucial for our sector, ensuring that levels do not distort the market, but equally making sure that organic farmers are um, paid for the environmental work that they know that, that we do. Although that there are many organisations uh, represented around the table, it was evident to me uh, that a major contribution uh, of the detail that informed DEFRA, the DEFRA team, which enabled them to understand how and why uh, environmental payments should be structured for organic farmers was developed by the Organic Research Centre. This all takes time and money. So for this and other policy work, what does the Organic Research Centre financially demand of us, an organisation that solely focuses on us, organic farmers and growers? Well, you can become a friend for £50, or you can subscribe to the bulletin for £25. Uh, then they offer us the leave it up to you options of donations and legacies. Every year the National Farmers Union demands £1,800 of me and uh, the Country Landowners Association requires just over a thousand. Uh, each of those organisations represent broad churches uh, and pulls from sectors that don't necessarily see eye to eye with the way that we see things, uh, yet I still subscribe. But what has the Organic Research Centre actually ever done for us? Forgetting the work that they do in terms of research and development uh, in the organic sector to improve our systems, increase our yields and boost diversity on our farms, what have we gained in 2014 from the work that they have just done in the area of policy? Well, looking at my own business, at the start of negotiations for NELMS, it looked as if the new scheme would impact negatively on my farm to the tune of just under £28,000. It now looks as if there will be a positive impact of just over £6,000, which is a difference of £34,000. A huge part of that is due to the policy work done by the Organic Research Centre. In fact, it is estimated that if all gains were realised, the financial uplift to the organic sector could be £5 million plus. So if you're not already a friend of the Organic Research Centre, I urge you to subscribe to the bulletin uh, as well as becoming a friend. But most importantly, uh, engage in the leave it up to you options. The information is in your packs as well as the ability to double your support in one more, for one more year only as the Mr and Mrs J.A. Pi charitable settlement is matching donations from new donors or donors who haven't given for a while to a total value of £28,000. It would be madness for our sector not to invest the money to meet this target and I urge you all, farmers, growers, industry partners and organic supporters and in fact the whole of conference, donate whatever you can at this time when your money could go double the distance.